Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is what happens when you own your truth. What happens when you voice your truth? What happens when you actually express what is in the core of your being? You know, we are talking about this idea of vital truth or satyayama, which means truth mastery in Sanskrit. So let's take the example of relationships to make it really specific. You have a lover, a partner, husband or a wife, a romantic connection with that person with who you are having sex, with who you are engaged. So, very often what happens is that in this relationship, you are going to engage only half of your emotional body and your emotional being. What that means is that you are going to hold back important information, important emotional information about yourself by fear of bringing discomfort or not pleasing your partner or them running away or them not liking you anymore. So this creates a kind of status quo in your relationship where there is an agreement that there are certain topics that we don't touch, certain areas in the relationship where we don't go because it's too scary and it's too challenging and it's not, um, you know, it's, uh, it would bring too much disturbance in the field of the relationship. But what tends to happen is that when you start withdrawing that information, and you, st you stop being really in your truth, in the real aspect of the emotions that are happening inside of you. So what tends to happen when you do that is that uh, you numb the whole relationship and the whole emotional state or the whole emotional field of your relationship. And what happens is that it becomes a bit more boring. It's not as interesting as if you were engaging the full range of your emotions, you know. So, for instance, um, you might go through some sadness or through some very uh, deep happiness about something that is going on in your life. Or you might suddenly have this deep sense of appreciation for your partner. Or you might have this deep sense of joy coming in. So, the emotions that you might be expressing at any given moment, they might be emotions that are positive or negative, you know, there might be a connotation of, of sadness or difficulty or challenge, irritation or anger. But the point is that the moment you look at your partner and say, you know what, vital truth. Okay, you, you just warn them before sharing your vital truth and you say, right now I feel like my heart is exploding in love for you. I feel like I could just hug you and spend the rest of my life just on a deserted beach, just the two of us, because I feel like so much deep love for you. So what's the difference between voicing that and not voicing that? Well, when you don't voice it, you're holding back that emotion. So you're, it's like retaining the flow of energy between you and your partner. And you're not daring to take the risk of sharing that because you, you don't know what's going to happen in, in, in your partner. And so you hold back the information because you're a bit afraid of opening up too much. And what happens when you open up too much? Then there is a flow of, of energy coming in and it makes you vulnerable because you give your partner access to the core feelings that are alive inside of you. So sometimes when you are doing a very deep sharing, you will notice that it creates this sense of vulnerability, right? But when you own those feelings, you know, it's not looking for recognition. You're not saying, I love you, hoping that your partner is going to say, I love you back. It's just a statement. It's how you feel at that moment or something that might sound like, you know, right now I'm really irritated with you. I feel a sense of irritation because yesterday I was doing this sharing and I was uh, telling you things and you were playing behind your computer game and you didn't listen and it was important to me. So I just need to share that. That's it. You voiced it. It's out of your system instead of being locked in resentment and, uh, and creating this, this tension in the field that you don't know how to identify. The moment you voice it, you bring it out and then it becomes part of the field, it becomes out there in the open and it's no longer a shadow. If you keep it in, you retain the information and that builds up tension uh, between you and your partner. And guess what? The moment you are going to be having sex that same night, that tension is still there. It's still present in your field. Therefore, you don't relax. Therefore, sex is not as good. Whereas if you share that before, you say, in the afternoon, I was angry with you. It pissed me off yesterday when you did that. And uh, today, now I'm voicing it and now we are ready to engage. Because then your partner might say, yeah, I understand. You know, or, well, you do that to me all the time as well. Oh, do I? You know, then you start on a discussion. It doesn't have to, to be a fight. It doesn't have to be an argument. It doesn't have to be something that is abusive towards each other. It can be just a, a, a gentle, positive and interesting exploration of the field of your relationship. So you start voicing your truth within that space and the magic happens, I can tell you, because I tried and I saw when 
I see when people are in that truth field and it's amazing. You see couples being in that truth field and you feel they are really grounded and connected. They are not afraid of their shadows. They are not afraid of sharing what's, what's alive inside of them. So I will give you practices in a moment, you know, on how to bring it up in relationship because there is a kind of protocol or ritual that you can do around that. But for now, just remember that the, the impact of sharing your truth in relationship, relationships or any, any other, you know, interpersonal relationship that you can have with people, not just the romantic ones, can have an incredible impact positive impact in your life. And again, I will give you some tools, I will give you techniques, and I will give you also a set of boundaries that you can apply so that you understand that cer in certain very specific circumstances, um, sharing your truth might still put you in trouble. But as a blanket agreement, just check in and realize that you have truth, it's time to start sharing them, you start to start expressing them, voicing them, and bringing them to the surface so that there is more of your emotions that are engaged in your relationships. I hope that makes sense. I'll be back soon.